Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel and today is going to be the final series of our cancer series, part 10. Um, these are tried and true herbs, so I know if you have these herbs, it is enriching your health, your body, these bodies that we are adorned with. Um, they all, all these herbs, pretty much every one that I've, I've used, um, I knew was working in a way, well, I could just tell my body was different from prior, more energy. Um, I don't know, uh, when you couple that with the diet, like I said, I did the Dr. Sebi diet, so it was pretty aggressive. Um, I flushed out pretty much all the toxins and the cascara sagrada and the rhubarb are the um they pretty much are the flushes everything is going out with those there's like the laxatives so they um yeah detox the body basically and then the other herbs you know they kind of help build and they remove so they all work together anyway i just did a uh, a mix of maybe about 15 herbs I was taking at the time. Maybe more than that, really. And um, did that flush, did the, um, the like I said, the diet. And I'm telling you, I felt like I was flying. It was just a beautiful experience. So if you're going through that, kudos to you and all those that are even just taking it. I know you're gonna feel, um, you know, a, a benefit from it, even in energy. Um, you may feel that so um, I hope this like I said uh, for those who are, are taking it uh, that it's really um, enriched your health anyway we're gonna just jump right into the video and get started according to naturalalternativeremedy.com chaparral benefits are vast and include antibacterial and antiviral properties among other things the plant is indigenous to Southwest area of the USA and the desert areas of Mexico. It was extensively used by the Native Americans who happened to live in those particular places. Chaparro can be used as a mouthwash. Regardless of the disagreeable flavor and odor, it may completely get rid of the bacteria leading to tooth decay. Chaparro has strong antifungal and antimicrobial properties and is a treatment frequently utilized to kill parasites that are living in our bodies. For treatments for burns, the resin that resides in the chaparro leaf is used from time to time. Chaparro is typically used to alleviate respiratory difficulties, for example, colds and bronchitis. It is an all-natural expectorant and will help the airways clear of excessive mucus. Chaparro has anti-inflammatory properties and can alleviate conditions, for example, arthritis. It has already been utilized to soothe the itchiness of chickenpox. Externally, the herb was used to soothe skin rashes and heal bruises, prevent diseases and heal wounds. It is especially advantageous for sufferers of eczema and psoriasis. An infusion of chaparral leaf herb may also be utilized to help ward off dandruff. Using chaparral in tea form or capsules is advantageous for problems with the body's digestive system. Chaparral leaf is believed to be a good herb in combating the signs of cancers and regularly suggested by natural medicine practitioners when cancer is identified. This is because of the strong antioxidant properties that the herb contains. There has been a certain research done that proposes that the herb might have the ability to inhibit the development of tumors. The antioxidant qualities of chaparro may be advantageous for cleaning the blood and helping the body to age more slowly. The antioxidant properties also may be advantageous for gout sufferers as well. Taking chaparro supplements might have a favorable impact also on the body's circulation. All right, so that was our long 
cancer series last one part 10 um just let me know if you've uh taken some of these herbs or you know that that we went over or if you tried them or if you started trying them um yeah leave that in the comment section i would love to hear from you uh remember to like share and subscribe and remember that i do this for you and remember that you are beautiful and i love you Bye.